Hello everyone and welcome to our multi-part training series on data room success. I'm Dan Polonka, a member of our client success team here at Anserata. Throughout this series, we'll be covering the core features of your Anserata data room, ensuring that you have all of the tools you need to propel your deal to the next level. Specifically, we will cover getting started in your document index, uploading and managing documents, how security works and how to apply it. Setting up users. Reporting within the data room. Managing your data room settings. And finally, we'll review how Q&A works and some typical Q&A setups. If you've never used us before, this series should fully prepare you to manage your data room but feel free to skip around if you're managing a specific section of your data room or simply looking for a refresher on a particular function. In today's video, we'll take a quick look at how to navigate your document index and some of the tools available therein. All right, if everyone's ready, let's get started. When you log into your deal, the first page you'll see is your document index. This is essentially the live section of your data room. Guests of your room will be able to view and download documents from this page based on their permissions. Documents can be downloaded by simply locating and clicking on the relevant document. PDF files can also easily be previewed directly from the data room itself. Before we jump into index-specific tools, let's take a moment to review some common elements of the room. On the left side of your screen, you'll find your main navigation menu. Under the View section, you will be able to access your live document index, view Q&A, and view reports. The Manage section will allow you to set up and make changes to all elements of your room, including documents, Q&A, internal and external teams, and general data room settings. You will also find options to change your individual notification settings and a Get Started tab with helpful tips for both you and your guests. The Navigation tab can also be minimized if preferred. It should be noted that this menu will change depending on your user role. So for example, a guest of the room would only see the document index, notifications, and get started sections, along with Q&A if they have been assigned a Q&A role. Throughout most sections of your data room, you'll note an actions tab in the top right corner. Under this tab, you'll typically find tools to manage items in bulk, along with printing and reporting options. Conversely, Clicking the three gray bars next to a specific item in the room will allow you to find more info or take action solely on that element. While the avatar in the top right can be used to edit your profile information or easily access your other data rooms. Finally, a link to our help and support library along with our contact information can be found in the bottom right corner of every page in the room. These links will appear for all users in the room regardless of role, and our client success team is available 24-7 to help answer any questions you or your guests might have along the way. All right, let's get back to your document index tools. The first items you'll see available here are filter and search options, along with your actions tab. By clicking filter, users can easily limit their index based on the save and print permissions you have established for their team. The documents dropdown can also be used to review documents based on your viewing history, or to see newly added or changed documents. You'll also note that documents can be filtered by date, and as an admin, you'll have access to our View As filter. This allows you to view the index from the perspective of any established team or subteam. Any documents downloaded from this view will apply the selected team's watermarks and permissions accordingly. In addition to filters, You'll also note that guests can search either within the full text of your documents or simply by title or index number. Advanced search options allow you to limit your search to specific folders and file types, utilize Boolean search operators, or grant some flexibility in your results by applying phonetic searching or adjusting your fuzziness. You can click the gray question mark icon for a full explanation of these options. Under the Actions tab, Guests can easily expand or collapse the index, perform a bulk download, or export the index to an Excel report. As an admin, you'll also have the ability to run an archive, which we will cover off in part two of this training series. For now, if your guests would like to run a bulk download, they can simply click Bulk Download and select the entire index or specific folders and files. 
they will be notified of the total size of their files and can adjust the download name prior to confirming their request. Once their download is ready, they will receive an email notification with a direct link to their secured files. Finally, running an Excel report of the index will provide users with a more detailed review of folders and files, including the size, type, and date of a file, their personal view history, and a direct link to any document in the room. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for this review of our document index. Please feel free to stick around for part two, where we'll review how to upload and manage your documents.